Strangest time when nowhere near the end. For all you know, you'll never speak another word again. In the fire that is your friend. In the fire that is your friend. No wonder all the lightning's gone, she's calling you to be. Apart from all that's dying there with her, you would be free from yourself, from yourself, from yourself. In the fire that is your friend, in the fire that is your friend, in the fire, in the fire. Your friend. No gear that can be turned No world can be imagined I wouldn't want to burn No way that it is over No need to start again No will to lose or hope In the fire that is your friend, in the fire that is your friend, in the fire, in the fire, in the fire that is your friend, and you'll come again. Thank you. Tell the people how you've been. <laughs> I've been good. <laughs> no, I've been pretty good. We, I've got a new record coming out. It's called American Dumpster. That's the title track. Uh, you learned a lot more about dumpsters in the past year than ever before. I know. It's, it's a good time if you're one of those. <laughs> it's a real good time. No, it's good. The record, uh, I'm really excited about it. I've got a, a group of guys that I'm playing with, yeah, Jesse W. Johnson and Coyote Scream. That's uh, right now a mixed group of, of people, including Yusu from Hemingbirds and Post Historic. We used to play together in that. Uh, on this record, Zach Benkowski played drums, also from Post Historic and Hemingbirds. Uh, my friend Paul played bass, Paul Dorr. And then Dane Markison is uh, my new drummer who's doing the tour with us. He's amazing. And Matt McGuire is our new bassist who's doing the tour with us. It's amazing. A lot of group of people, and Yusu's doing the tour too, and he's going to be in the champ in Champagne in that show too, I think, which is going to be great. And uh, he's a married man now, right? Yes, he is. He is a married man, that happily has married. Since I last saw him, so congratulations. If uh, well, obviously, if he's listening, but yeah, if anybody, I'm sorry to say, if anybody who knows him is listening, but I mean, you know him. We all pretty much know him. So yeah, no, <laughs> he's doing good. But yeah, it's been exciting. How have you been? It's been a, Mike told me it's been three years since I've been on the show. That sounds about right. Yeah. You said one, right? <laughs> well, I, I said one since I was in town. Okay. Well, just triple that. And uh, yeah, we, uh, as I said, there, there were requests for you, but uh, I explained that, you know, you work Tuesday mornings. So I like to keep people waiting a little bit, you know. Well, not her. No. 
Not at all. There are exceptions. Yeah. But it's good to be here, Todd. I really appreciate you having me. Well, yeah, when we go from having you on pretty much every week to uh, only every three years, it's uh, it's nice when the three years <laughs> rolls around. That's right. Oh, yeah. but you'll be back in town soon. You, you just, I guess you covered that, but uh, I don't think you gave a date or anything. That's true. We're playing on the tour. We're playing uh, July 21st at Cowboy Monkey with the Acme Principal and Wolf Tree. I'm really excited about that show. Wolf Tree? Yes, they are a new band. Is this like a tree that grows wolves? or I'm not sure, but I'm going to find out on July 21st. It's, it's going to be good. Really odd mental image. I know. It's it's good, though. It's a good the image. branches would break. We get, You got Coyote Scream and Wolf Tree. <laughs> so it's good. Was this, this was deliberate. I don't think it was deliberate, but, you know, that's how things work out. Yes. Yes. The Acme Principle needs groundhogs or puppies or jackals or something. I think they'll have them all. Okay. <laughs> Mike Clayton will get on that. That's perfect. They, they've built up quite a following, by the way. Last time they played Monkey place was packed for them i know i love them they're one of my favorite bands to play with they're awesome i'm they set up the show for us i'm super grateful and really excited well, you know i was worried we'd have nothing to talk about tonight but uh because you know we never do i know it's but, we should probably just go silent for the rest of the hour uh i do see swords and lions on there though so you probably want to get to that yeah let's do it this is a brand new one Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to. Uh, this is a harmonica song. All right. Here we go. Thank you. All right. This song's called Hangover Heaven.
got to hang over heaven I'm gonna throw up my guts I'm gonna catch up to ghosts And I'm gonna run Oh, I'm gonna run You've seen me at my worst Now take me at my word If you wanna destroy the world Then I want to be first I think it's funny don't you at first we want to make it last and now we just want it to be through we just want it to be through today you smiled like you meant it Almost made me want to quit Then you fell onto the pavement The second that you got back off of it I think it's funny, don't you? At first you want to make it last and now you only want it to be through I only want it to be through seen me at my worst now take me at my word if you want to destroy the world then I want I want to be first I held your hand on the hospital bed whispered these lies to you but when you step out onto a cloud you know you're gonna fall right through thank you very much yeah, that's original. <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you, you, Jess. Yeah, thank I you. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Got more coming your way. Hey, Todd, what's up? Oh, nothing much. Just uh, figured I'd uh, not be delinquent in my duties. Come out here and say you're listening to WEFT Champagne. This is Web Sessions with special guest star Jesse W. Johnson. All right, thank you. <laughs> is Coyote Scream the uh, the main project now? Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. I have I used to play in Champagne Bands Post Historic and Jet W. Lee, and Jet W. Lee has been on hiatus for a long time. I think we'll get back together at some point soon, but I don't know when that's going to be yet, but what, I will let you know. What about the, uh, the action movies? Well, I don't know. I love action movies. Did, uh, <laughs> did the zombie bride ever get cured? I don't know. I don't remember what you're talking about. What? Oh, the music video. You really didn't remember you made it. <laughs> well, you sprung it on me. You didn't say we're going to talk about the music video. I, I just figured if you were I just figured if you were at a train station and got chased by a zombie, you would kind of remember that. It was uh it was all staged, Todd. I'm sorry. Aww. It wasn't well, real. Well, actually that's good cuz I hate zombies. So That's I like them. They're good. I I like individuals and zombies don't generally have individuality anymore. Well, so. I just, you know, it's good to have fear every once in a while to make you feel alive. Uh, you know, that's that's what I need sometimes. But staged fear. 
I, I don't. Sometimes, yeah, for entertainment purposes. I mean, there's plenty of real fear if, if you want that too, but uh, I, I, that's more dread than fear, I think. So, you need some of that too to feel alive. Okay, well, you should feel very alive right now. <laughs> Todd, can I present you with a gift? Uh, I, on air for everyone to see. Everyone can see this on air right now. I'm I, can you describe lovely. it? This is a new record, American Dumpster. Look at that! And it's, you can't see it, but it's got clear, uh, transparent red vinyl inside. Ooh. It's got a download card. I have one for the station, too, if you all want one. Uh, but that's for you. The, the only thing that worries me is we don't have a turntable. Well, we'll figure out a way we can, I think you just, need a pe you just need some sort of needle, and you just spin it around, and you just put that down, and it'll... It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. I'll get you like a phonograph or something. <laughs> well, you're with, welcome. Well, with for weft, it probably should be a Victrola. That'd be perfect. That that's actually a copyrighted term. I learned you can't make it in Scrabble. I think you can put it in a CD player. To be honest, you just got to jam it in there. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like that's been done to ours several times. <laughs> I, we, t uh, Jess and I come in Monday. We're like, why doesn't it work? Oh. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have CDs, but it does have no, a download no, it's, card, I, so that's, no, that's you can burn your own CD if you want. <laughs> that's that's wonderful. Thank you. I'm going to make that happen so we can play it. There you go. There you go. Thank you very much. Well, you're very welcome. I really appreciate your support and let me come on the show. I miss you. It's I, We used to talk about you know so many things on the show. We, you used to be one of the weft players. We that's would do true. Literary, uh, oh, that's right. We would read literary greatness on yes. air. It was fantastic. Jesse's I a thes Jesse, Jesse was a thespian as well as a uh, <laughs> he did dramatic interpretations. <laughs> well, I th you're making me blush. <laughs> I had a good time. It doesn't show. I'm always red. I don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't I, show any more than usual. If I pick up a guitar, immediately I start sweating, have to go to the bathroom, and turn bright red. Those are three things that will happen as soon as I put a guitar in my hands. I've known you... <laughs> Almost 10 years, and I don't think I picked up on any of those things. Really? But. Well, I'm real secretive about it. Well, they'll all keep your secret. I know. I really appreciate everybody keeping that secret. Thank you, Internet. Well, Todd, do you want to hear a song off of the new record that I i don't think I've played live before? Do it! That, is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> so, yes, yes. Here we go. so hard on the one hand Trying to put some purpose on all that was planned While well, studying how to be a good man Were you and I ever on the same path? And I ask myself that Telling myself it'll only be another year It'll only be another year
Let in go like it never was held in Coming across as someone breathless Studying hard how to look up again Out at the flatlands To see an invisible mountain And I hate it here I hate it here I just want to get out I just want to be out of it now Thank you. All right. Todd, you had a wardrobe change already. So many pe things that people can't see. They, they can't see I, the record I gave you. They can't see all your wardrobe changes. This is like the third time you've changed. It's great. I'm exaggerating, Todd. I was going to say, I, I think I lost count somewhere. We need to get more coordinated. You and I need to get more coordinated in our... We got to pretend this is War of the Worlds and we have to describe things to people, right? That's the way I look at songwriting. Th this certainly goes with the uh, instilling fear in people thing. If uh... <laughs> Well, it's you, t you present the fear, then you take it away, and then there's love. <laughs> it's great. I, didn't, I feel like I've just had the birds and the bees explained to me for the first time. I'm kidding. Okay. Only a little bit. Darn, that was... That was I guess I don't have to uh, adapt to that new worldview then. Uh, but I've never scared you before, right? Um, <laughs> you probably have at some point, but on purpose, probably. I hope I haven't. I hope I haven't. I I mean, I've known you long enough. You probably at some point did, but I, I can't think of it offhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's see if we can do that by the end of the night. What do you think? Jennifer Green's kind of scary. That's true. Let's call that. We'll call that one even. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I'd like to play a song next, could, if that's okay. Could I just interject one Go thing? Go for it. You remember, uh, right after you were on WEF for the first time, a uh, girl I was going out with and I had that debate about whether you were singing You Were Dead or You Were There. Oh, yeah. And, and she was, was right. I was wrong because I didn't know you well enough yet. But it was both. Right. But I said, why would he sing you were all my life you were dead? That that's just kind of a weird thing and uh, Ghost Ghost Todd. Right. Love so ghosts. uh but it was it was all Oh, and that's actually the song that had the uh yeah. Anyway, uh I learned early on, just like you talking about the pictures you drew when you were growing up, that uh um you know, if anybody gets scared early on, that's that's just learning the uh learning the parameters. You know, you gotta learn them sometime. All right. Well, this song is called Primal Scream, and it's <laughs> off of my last EP before this one. And it goes out to you, Todd. Well, thank you. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully I don't make you scream by the end of the night. Or we could just have a scream along and make it cathartic. That'll be great. Begin when the beginning's blown. Well, I don't know. And how do we get where we wanna go? 
Blindly burning gas on the road Where do we get to that's good and gold? And when we get there, how will we know? What it cost us, how we got there And how to get home Where do we dig for the well of the souls Where it's buried underneath our noses Full of the stuff that's stuck in our skulls There's bones above and bones below us Teacher told me when I was a child There's something else behind that smile So the road was set before the wheels were wet It's never been told I actually was just going to let you do two in a row and not interrupt, but uh, Charlie told me we did get a phone call, and uh, fortunately... We're shut down? <laughs> no. <laughs> Said apparently there was a couple, a mystery couple, uh, that wanted to hear some song that I... I, I I'm... I realize you've got your set list worked out, so I am simply passing along the message. Okay, did, what did they say specifically? They wanted to hear some old song that had blue in the title, and I think I can figure out which song that is. Ooh. And I think I figured out that the couple is from Flagstaff, Arizona. All right, well, that couple is Bradley and Gretchen, <laughs> and they're in an amazing band called Coed Pageant. They've had several bands. Yeah, and you know what? I'm, I may play that song later. But I'm going to cover one of their songs. I like that idea better. So that's what we'll do. It's called Over It. I've, we're actually, we actually did a split EP with them, and I covered this song on the EP. I don't think I've heard that. Um, I'll have to send it your way. It's not, it's not available digitally. It's only a, I'll send it your way. Awesome. But it's through, uh, if I can mention my friends there at Vinyl for a Cause, they do an amazing thing. And uh, uh, artists cover each other, and it's for charity, and it's super cool. So we did that for them. As long as you're not giving out dollar denominations, you can mention any friends uh, you deem relevant. That's perfect.
to the feeling that you're so appealing that someone could be capable of tolerating my exclusive company for extended periods oh being young and not afraid to get serious on the way to your apartment i count it all the time I take in that same bus and sidewalk to ring the same doorbell nervously shaking and hoping that you couldn't tell to the thought that you might be caught deep in the clutches of someone who's not caught in yours oh the feeling when someone's not listening oh being young and not afraid to do anything all the time we can't get back how we could have spent them getting to know ourselves and i could have been someone worth knowing to the song that keeps coming on several years later after you're gone it tears at your heart when it gets to that part where the strings die the voice cracks and you're still not over it oh that the pain isn't permanent all right thanks hey bob <laughs> how's it going it's good to see you thanks for coming We got Bob from Acme Principal. We do. We're playing together July 21st the Cowboy Monkey. I'm really excited about it. Do you hear us talking about you? Uh, no. Actually, I, I guess I, I name dropped Mike, but we were talking about Acme Principal earlier. Talking about how you, uh, how well you drew last time. Well, yeah, that, that's the Bradley and Gretchen. They, they are hopefully the only ones that know I screwed it up in the middle of the song. And I'm sure they're going to give me trouble for it later. You're volunteering all these things nobody was aware of. It's, I, I value honesty. Well, it's very <laughs> humble of you. But it's true. It's, 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 I felt good about it, but I did mess it up. I know Bradley's disappointed. I know, and I liked it. But it, it, it went okay, I thought. We actually have a song on the shelf over there, a uh, 1995 single titled Screwed It Up. So uh, all right. if you feel it coming on, you could just cover that. I could do that probably have to learn it first but all right todd do you have any challenging questions for me i'm in the mood to dig deep answer answer a question see that immediately reminds me of two jokes that require way too much explanation um did you do you remember the challenging question that was posed to me earlier this year no i don't my dad asked me uh what love songs I most respect or something like that. And uh, I don't generally, I categorize songs a lot of ways, but I don't just 
say, these are my 37 favorite love songs. You know, they, I have to stop and think, like, how exactly is love treated in this? It, oh, it's a song about taxidermy, so it's not really, you know. I mean, it could be about love. I don't know. Right, exactly. I, I have to stop and think, like, is this 20% love? Is this 5% love? Is it, you know, is that really love or is that smut? Or uh, I think fif- if you got 15, then 15% is good. I think that's the cutoff. Well, that's the most challenging question I think that's been posed to me in a long time. <laughs> well, that's good. But um, you don't have you don't have a challenging question for me. It could be about anything. Uh, what would you least like to be reincarnated as? That's a good question. Wow. That is a challenging question. I'm impressed. Uh, and not like a living, <laughs> not a currently living person, but okay. Like I got gotcha. you. Um, that's not how it works. I, no, I was thinking a species. Yeah, or, it could be an animal. I guess. I, I really don't like. Uh, squirrels, and uh-huh. I would never want to be a squirrel. Okay, now I absolutely have to tell you something I started to tell you before, because I said I'd never really given much th- much thought to dumpsters. After I left here last week, uh, early in the morning, uh, bef- uh, when I got home, I took out the trash, and when I got to the dumpster, out of the dumpster, a squirrel jumped onto me. That has never happened before. I actually thought That's it was really a snake. <laughs> it, it was so fast, I just saw this streak and uh, I only, as it was running away, did I realize it was a squirrel. So every time you've mentioned dumpsters tonight, I think of a squirrel pouncing on me. And now you've mentioned that you hate squirrels. So um, We've got that in common. Well, I, that's the first time a squirrel and I have ever shaken hands. So <laughs> that's, that's crazy. I did not know that. It's a good um, story. Yeah, I, I was then afterward a little worried, you know, whether it had done anything, but it didn't, so. Not yet. I think it, it just wanted to get away from me and vice. Well, but then it wouldn't have jumped on me. Anyway, <laughs> it, it was not. It did not make small talk. Well, that's. I mean, that's tra- traumatic, and I hope you don't have to go through that again. Well, the good news is you are alive and well, so I don't have to wonder if the squirrel was like you reincarnated. Because <laughs> it won't be. I, <laughs> otherwise, you otherwise be I'll I'll jump into the bottom of that dumpster and stay there if I was a squirrel. <laughs> I, I, I prefer my friends staying right where they are, and then I don't have to wonder whether reincarnated is. I'll, I'll try. I'll try my best. <laughs> what do we want to do now, Todd? Uh, those. Okay. More songs. Did we leave off with uh, No Tomorrow? Yeah. You see, yeah. every time I see that, I think No Tomorrow by the, uh, the Blackouts, well, which I may have to play next hour. I'm ripping them off. That's what I do. I actually think I'm going to stray from the set list. Okay. I'm going to play a very old song, Todd, that I don't know if you've ever heard. I wanted to dig up, really wanted to dig up an old song it's that you never song. heard. It's the Gypsy song. No. You've heard that song. It's a song you may <laughs> never have heard. I was kidding. I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe I played this forever ago on this show, but I don't know. So you tell me after we're done. I'll keep it a surprise. But I tried really over. hard to find an old song that you did not know. Now that it's over I'm feeling so good Although it ended bad Well, I knew that it would And just how it started with the wave of a gun Not at all how it ended But when I was young Oh, when I was young young I was young I was young I 
was young and when I was young I moved along moved along moved along and I moved along when I was young You can see it in my eyes As I look up at the stars And from under the surface I don't know who we are Although I was here such a long time before Well, I wasn't stranded And swimming for shore Swimming for shore When I was young, I was young, I was young When I was young I moved along, moved along, moved along I moved along When I was young, I was young, I was young when I was young, oh, I moved along. Thank you very much. Todd, did you know that song? I didn't recognize it. I would, uh, I would have to go through my files. Uh, I'm not sure of the title either. Okay. I'm going to call that I Did Find a Song You Didn't <laughs> Know Then. It's called The Swimmer. The Swimmer. Yeah. It's well, I'll, I'll check it, but I didn't recognize it as I was hearing it. <laughs> All right. Well, now, let's, now I'll play No Tomorrow, if that's okay. And then I'll play No Tomorrow next hour. Let's do it. Doppelgangers. that make you sad and you know I try to be the only one you see the only one you see tomorrow left alone they will be spilling what they spill the only one that makes you want to turn around and 
kill it or throw it in the back and put it all in black and I Thank you. That's a new song. It's called No Tomorrow. I'm going to play another new one in a second here, Todd. It's called Everybody Sucks. I said that maybe that could be my mom's new favorite. <laughs> That's true. You did say that. Which one is your mom's favorite? Ooh, my mom's favorite is a song called My Moonshine Shoes that I used okay. to play. I remember that. It's off my first CD. Okay. But I'm not going to play that one tonight. I'm sorry, Mom. Hi, if Jesse's mom is listening. Or dad. Or a sister. Or all three. <laughs> I hope they are. I told them about it. We'll see. They probably are. And now I feel bad because I'm not playing that song. <laughs> I guess I could. But I'm not going to. If, As far as I'm concerned, if you want to stay a few minutes and play that, you're the one that has to drive back. So. <laughs> well, thank you, Todd. <laughs> about the present like it was the past and nothing that you love will ever last tell me about the time you drove so far trying to get away in your parents car try to break it down turning every light in this town upside down 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 down
taking every lie that you can see. Don't ever say it was all on me. You and I try to make our plans. We let it all fall through our hands. You and I could try to make it right. Burning it all on a summer night. Down, 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 down. Thank you very much. So uh, I am supposed to be courier and say that my mother said to say hi, your sister said to say hi, and your future brother-in-law said to say hi. All right. And Bruce says hi. All right. <laughs> hi, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, Todd, Please tell your mom, or I'll tell her right now. Thank you very much. I think she just heard you. I apologize that I don't know. I don't remember how to play serotonin right now. I Otherwise, didn't even tell I would you play she that, put that in her. the email. <laughs> well, I, I know that. She, I remember she liked that song. It's an old song I used to play. And you have a mind meld with my relatives tonight. <laughs> well, it's really nice. I really appreciate it. Either listening. that, or you were able to crane your neck and look in the booth and read over my shoulder while you were playing that song. I'll never tell. <laughs> See, you asked if you asked if you ever scared me. That's a different. That's more impressed than scare. A little bit shock. Just you know, how does he do it? <laughs> well, that's good. I would rather that. If I if I would rather that than scare. So, uh, do you have two more? I've got up to four more. But I definitely have two more. I, I can we do probably two more. should ask Mike how much is left on the recording. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think, as far as I'm concerned, you're good. So okay, so I'm gonna three minutes till the top of the hour. Right. All right. Well, I'll do a couple more if you want me At to. At least. Okay. This one's called "Heard You Drowned." <laughs>
the friendships I've found when you're not allowed, you're not allowed to dare. It's so 